Like a dog on a leash, the team leads the shark onto a submerged platform. And the scientists spring into action. They're working like a NASCAR pit crew out here, fast, trying to get these satellite tags installed because they've only got 15 minutes that they can keep this animal out of the water. They draw blood and even perform an ultrasound, all while the shark is awake and unsedated. I just want to get right in here and get a, get a look. Can we? Yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've never been this close to such a massive animal before. Brett McBride is pumping seawater through her gills to keep her breathing. I mean, you've got your hand practically in its mouth. <laughs> yeah, but you can see that it's fairly docile. They usually are. Scientists call this learned helplessness. The shark can't go anywhere, so she stops fighting to save energy. Can I touch one of her teeth? Yes. Yeah. 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 You can. Oh my God, this is so weird. Within minutes, the data for 24 different scientific projects is collected, and the shark they've named Umi, the Japanese word for ocean, swims away. But those tags scientists attach will track her movements for up to 10 years. They're the system manager of the ocean. As they go, the ocean goes. The ocean is 70% of the planet, provides us two thirds of our oxygen, 100% of our water, and billions of people food every day. They are the guardians of our fish stocks. There's no future for us as humans if there's not a robust future for our large sharks. 